I have the new 13 inch iPad Pro, the super thin one, which I'm trialing out as we uh, test a remote setup. I won't bore you with the details, but I have an 11 inch and I was curious to know whether a 13 inch would work better as a, as a separate monitor. That aside, a few years ago, I made an episode on the new M1 iPad and how it performed with Figma and Webflow. And I thought, as I've got this 13 inch for potentially next week, why not check out how Webflow is doing on the iPad with a bigger screen and then check out how Figma is doing. I'll leave a link to the 11 inch version and you can kind of compare and contrast the amount of real estate that we have in Webflow on the, uh, on the iPad. So without further ado, let's jump into it and I'll let you know my thoughts at the end. Keyboard is super nice, loads of space on here. I have this one. Uh, these feel a bit, I mean, they're quite old now, but you can maybe kind of see they're all wobbling around a little bit, but this is old and you can see <laughs> I've got some buttons missing there. But this one, super nice, super tactile, but probably already knew that. Okay, let's go to my freelancer space and jump into the Flow State uh, website. So let's take a quick gander. I mean, if I'm like, I mean, I can't scroll already. I don't, I can't, I should have watched my last episode um, about the pros and cons. Oh, geez, yeah. This could be a very short episode if this is the case. I can't remember if the last one allowed me to scroll, but um, touch seems to work as you would expect. I do have the pen to be honest, which might help on this stupidly small interface that Webflow have given us um, and then new redesign. But yeah, I can't like, if I hold option here and drag Presumably I can't then, you know, um, slide it around. So yeah, there we go. Um, interesting. So right off the bat, well, you can click down and obviously do things like that, but your, your touch is very limiting. I mean, I can't scroll. I can tap around like this. That's totally fine. Yeah, so you can, you can tap around, um, double tap actually. Let's see if we can click on it. So that is okay. I mean, you, but you've seen it crash a couple of times. And then what I did last time is I t turned on focus mode, which helps when you don't have a lot of screen real estate. It just automatically closes and you just do, I think this really helps you work on the iPad when you can, well, because if I remember rightly, and I'll focus mode, um, expand all. Okay, so you can scroll this bit now. I think before you couldn't scroll on that right-hand side, um, but focus mode definitely helps, to, particularly if you're on the smaller screen, but they seem to have fixed the, the, the scrolling issue that was, was uh, apparent on there. So everything seems to work pretty well. And, what about dragging around? Do that. So I can't, touch is pretty, yeah, I can't even scroll on that right hand. Like nothing is really touch. And then you can touch, go to different sections like this. And then when you want to change things, uh, where is it, spacing, you can't do this. You have to go into that and then do the whole thing. Well, you can't even do that. but probably be very painful to work on touch only. What else? Let's have a look at the CMS uh, FAQs. Yeah, I mean, this all works nice, that's cool. Let's have a look at some code. What about a uh, shortcut? Oh, the shortcut panel doesn't come up. So that, those shortcuts work. Oh, okay, that was weird. Um, embed. So yeah, this all kind of works fine. I mean, you get, I think you get enough space. I mean, you can even do that if you really wanted to, to try and get more space. Oh, it's worth saying as well that I have my iPad set, the display settings are set to like more space. 
So that's probably helping us out here. Let's go to system settings, display zoom. Here we go, display default. Let's look at that. Oh, rest <laughs> restarted the iPad. <laughs> oh, okay, it was quite quick. So now we're back. I'm not sure whether we're gonna see much difference inside of the browser actually. Yeah, I think that's Webflow. So, the thing I use for uh, Figma is figurative and I seem to have downloaded it. So let's just download it again. And this, this is a more native, um, as native as you can get for Figma. So uh, get started. And it's more, wow, well, it's from the app store. So it's more iPad friendly. Uh, let's go into the Figma boilerplate. And have a little look. Okay, this seems touching around like touch seems to work very well, but I'm trying to move that now. So it probably goes into a move mode when you're using your fingers, like you can't resize things when you're using your fingers, but it's very, very performant to be fair. And then what happens when I use the mouse? And that's when you can, that's a lot better. And if I remember rightly, this just kept on crashing. So let's go into here, let things start loading in. Architecture, let's just go through all the pages. That's when it starts to get pretty big now. Maybe try a bigger site. This is very, very performant. Maybe it's the M4 as opposed to the M1, which could might, maybe couldn't have handled it or something, which seems crazy because an M1 MacBook will handle it properly. But this, yeah, really, really nice. A lot better. And this, the, you know, the screen real estate is a lot nicer on the, on the 13 inch. It's very cramped. If you go back to my other video, you, you'll see it's super cramped. But this is just flying through these um, designs. Not a lot of photography, mind. Not a lot of like effects and things, but still. Very good. I think I was just referencing a design and it just kept crashing. So for me... to move around that easily in dev mode for some reason. I can't, is that a dev mode thing? Yeah, it's a dev mode thing. Should we open the pen? This feels like a good excuse to whack it open. There you go. Okay, editing Sam here. Um, I didn't. I think it was important that I show you the pen in figurative. Now I haven't checked this just yet, or at least I can't remember what it was like. But if you can tell, I did actually return the 13 inch and got the 11 inch just because it wasn't that much bigger, and I really prefer the smaller real estate. So here we go. So it looks like once again the pen. acts a lot like touch similar to webflow that you need a mouse or a trackpad in this instance to actually do any sort of working so i know you know uh i know figma isn't like photoshop but you designers might like to see if it can do the art stuff and you can hold the pen but no go sister Okay, so in summary, it's actually a really nice experience. Like you need the keyboard. You definitely need the keyboard. Um, shame you can't like scroll through Webflow, but tapping is kind of okay, I guess. I think you're not gonna be using this as your primary kind of device for, for editing Webflow websites. It's great when you're on the go, you need to make a quick change. The screen real estate is really nice, especially if you're on like a, 
uh, tube or whatever. And the performance obviously is there to cope with uh, figurative and using Figma. Um, it's, it's a really good secondary device i think you won't be you won't be using this as your primary device at all so i hope this was a good little quick look at the new ipad and how it compares to the m1 which i did last year like i say i'll leave links to those that episode in the description uh, like subscribe if you haven't already until next time happy no coding